you're gonna see something I have never ever done before and I definitely do not recommend build a slinger first you should probably be building a scout and then a warrior or a settler after that however we know we're in for a treat we know there's a lot of warmongers around us like really really close to us in order to build this map I loaded up a snowflake map on the map builder and then deleted all the AIs that the game spawned with added our own and moved the spawn location much much closer to the center of the snowflake therefore each AI Spawns really, really close to us and has room to expand away from us. Since we did build this with World Builder, we do have some sort of a knowledge of the map. We know there's a natural wonder here, another one over here. Well, we can just see that in turn one. There should be, I think, horses over here, which would be really nice. There's also no tribal villages. And there's got to be an AI somewhere over here to the right. There we are. Turn, uh, no. You're not telling us where anything is. Oh, they're right there. <gasps> Settler. Where do you think they're going to go with the Settler? We could totally steal this thing. I'm going to take a chance and go here. Okay, there's a Warrior and a Settler. They could be trying to go... I don't know where. <laughs> There's Settler. But if it's Winneth Range... Okay, they... No. Oh, there's a, here's all the other AIs. We're not friendly to chat with any of them. The Settler moved back to the right. I assume it's going back to the rest of the Snowflake. This is probably their capital city. We're finishing our Slinger in two turns. We're going to be a little bit aggressive because we kind of have to be. Let's go to declare Surprise War. Get this free Warp Builder. Excellent. They're losing loyalty. But we're not going after their capital. We got Code of Laws. Let's just go to Discipline. I mean, Survey doesn't really matter. For our city, normally you like to do God King for a normal game, but we need Urban Planning. We need all the extra production we can get just so we can build our units just that much faster. We're gonna finish archery in eight, hopefully fewer than eight turns. So six turns, hopefully this, we build this slinger before we finish archery. I'm gonna try to do that and then upgrade two slingers to our unique unit. And this thing should be able to defend us. I'm hoping. For our civic, we are 100% going for craftsmen, just cause of Agog, so we can get extra production towards military units. Oh, there we go. Now we can go like this. Go there. Build the pasture here. We definitely don't want our warrior to die. That is just horrible, horrible news if that happens. This is the movement cost of one with this horse tile here, so the warrior can go here and then attack if we have a slinger here. So let's move our slinger here. Move this in our capital. Increase our gar garrison defense strength by two. And let's go with this. And let's see how much Rome hates us. Minus 19. Oh, 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 oh. oh, minus 17. Yeah. Now the thing you want to do is you see there's one turn left in the slinger, one turn left in the archery. I've had this happen before. The tech gets discovered first, and this will change over to this unique unit. So we need to slow our techni technology down by one turn. For what do we want? We can get mining and mining. We can get a pasture there. I think our key to winning this game is to get a nice observatory and get ahead in science. Now we'll go back to archery. Let's move you here and go like this. You got the promotion, but I'd rather just kill this unit first. Definitely want to upgrade at least one of these. And if we give you garrison, that thing will just be insane. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. And we're going to fortify in here. Uh, they can't take over the city in one turn. Now for our research, let's go for back for pottery and then go for our observatory. Yeah, oh, it looks like, it looks like their capital. Their capital just flipped. Oh, it's going to be to us. Get the flanking bonus. So we're going for military tradition. Like, this is... I'm surprised we're only attacked by one AI so far. It's actually kind of shocking. Rome does have your units right on our border, so I wouldn't be surprised if they come and came at us. Let's get a warrior in there. I mean, this is going to be ours in four turns. And we are going for a horseman rush. Oh, you like us. There's the Roman attack. Yeah, it was, uh... 
It was coming. Writing. But there's writing. Two turns till we get this city. Let's look at our situation. They have four warriors coming at us. We will lose this builder. We can move over here to the right. And then I'll probably be trapped in by the Roman Empire to the west. And this slinger will probably go over to the stone. So we should probably get rid of one of these units. We can clear that one up there. Clear that one up. Go there. Go like that. We could attack this thing. Yeah. And then after this, let's go for the observatory. Build it right there. And then 100% we need to go for irrigation. We need to get to two plantations online. Attack there. Attack there. Go like this. Attack this one and then heal this one. Do you want to auto... Is this an update? Sure. Okay. And look at this. We got the city. And there's a settler over here. We'll keep this city. More error score, which you desperately don't need. We are losing loyalty, though. We need to grow this city. That's a problem. 60 gold. We could buy this one. That would help it grow really, really fast. And you have no housing. Here, I can sell for 25 gold. That's 62. Is that enough? Yes. We go here. We're going to build a nice farm right here for this city. To get the housing up a little higher. We could go like this, get a free settler. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, Mongolia. Getting wrecked by barbarians. Looks like they have another city over here to the east too. But this city's really, really bad. I mean, Rome only has a military strength of 100, which is basically what they started the game with. One turn so we can peace out with them. I'm going to keep this archer here just in case they bring more units. Okay, good. It's just that one warrior. We don't need to worry about that at all. Let's attack the city. Maybe the barbarians will take it over for us. Yeah, this archer's going back home. I think we can go here and still get one movement. Yeah, because it only has one movement to go near a city. And next turn we get our governor so we can fix out the loyalty, fix the loyalty issues with this city. After horseback riding, let's go for masonry to get some walls going. And then we should be like, oh yeah, there's another eagle warrior. A strong eagle. They want peace. We can accept that one. Yeah, there they are. We knew it was coming. So, so far, turn 36, we've been at war with three different AIs now. Let's go here and fortify. You move there and attack this one, and then you attack it. There we go. One done. I'm just waiting for them to injure themselves so we can attack with both of our archers. Because it does, like, five more combat damage. Yeah, five combat strength when fighting a wounded opponent. So they just get destroyed that way. They're about to build walls. Yeah, let's just take the city over. Let's take the city over. If we look at this, minus 5.4 occupational, occupational grievances, so that's 3.5. So 4.9 would be at minus 1.9 if we just found a normal city there. Which is reasonable. The city has nothing, and we have a free, like, settler right here. So we can just go... One over next turn, and we got a builder already. Another governor channel. Let's go right for Garrison Commander to get more loyalty in our cities. Okay, now it will be our cities should be hopefully good. One thing we're not going to do is we're not going to attack this eagle warrior. When the units damage, they tend to pillage, and we do not want to have to pillage our observatory. But now look, it's even closer. Is it? It's already damaged, so we can just go. Ooh. This thing's pretty strong. Can this kill? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Our units are just way, way stronger. I mean, I'm looking at these and none of them are too great. They're probably the best one. If we actually had any other modes enabled, which we don't, is Religious Idols. Two Faith from Minds Over Luxury and Bonus Resources. We'll have like one, two, three, four, five. That's ten Faith per turn right there. That's a quarry. But let's just do Fertility Rights. We need extra builders, honestly. And getting actual growth, too, will help us out with all of our loyalty issues. Now we're going to go here down here get a free mine. We should probably attack and kill this thing. Three, four, five, six. The only unfortunate part about this city location is seven tiles away from the capital, so we won't get any of the bonuses. We don't get the free worker. We don't get the 10% yields or anything like that. But it is another city on this kind of map. 
I think we should just go for it. What was that? Each of us is caught. What was this? Keep city. Oh, they. Oh. Look at this. We're doing pretty good now. Turn 44. We have four cities. I want to see their city. Organisms don't Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's why. Okay, we definitely need. We definitely need swordsmen. Six turns. Let's get some warriors then. Because we're going to finish this battering ram soon. Let's peace out with Mongolia. 124 gold. Two gold per turn. I think they only have one city left anyways. Yeah. Now we have 406 gold, which is pretty good. We're not going to do the government now. We're going to do it in two turns. That's why I switch over mysticism. We're saving our era score till the next era. Our next push is we're going right for man at arms and then from there we're going to take over the world. We are kind of crushing it in science compared to the AIs. Essex has 10 technologies per turn. We're at 9. But I mean, look at that. They have the Great Barrier Reef. So that's why they're doing so good. But now we have the Galapagos Islands. So we should be catching up just fine. Almost everybody... Oh, Alexander's not in a golden age. Okay. That's bad for them. <laughs> that's really, really bad. Because loyalty is a rough thing with this map. We will have one specialty district, two, three, and like four specialty districts already. So that's an additional four culture per turn, which is, you know, kind of so, somewhat reasonable. It's either that or monumentality and just buying one builder. So <laughs> let's do pen brush and voice. Obviously we're doing oligarchy. <laughs> so we can man we're going to have melee units. Are we worried? We're not really worried about the Kree going to war with us, are we? They're at 13 science per turn. They're down with six technologies discovered. Okay, yeah, we're not worried at all. Let's change things up here. Let's go for recorded history. Go on the offensive and increase our science with natural philosophy in the Praetorium. Let's put in maneuver, conscription, urban planning. Let's go for inspiration for now for the additional great scientist points per turn. The other one I thought we could go for is Praetorium, our charismatic leader. But if you look at the two city states we discovered, four envoys, six envoys, like we're not going to get there anytime soon. There's the last AI. Oh, and it's not Gandhi. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was supposed to be Gandhi. Oh, my bad. Well, we're playing this game. We're playing this game. 250 to upgrade. Yes. One, two. We can't do the third one yet. But now our cities. Now we have some strength. I don't know if I denounced you yet. I did. So in four turns, we can go to war with the Aztec Empire. We are going straight for Corsairs, for technology, so we can upgrade our, our horsemen, because right now they're pretty weak. After we go to war with the Aztecs, we're going to try to take over this city, and I think we're just going to leave them alone. And then we're going to go to the Roman Empire, and then India, which actually has the Oracle done. And then I don't know where the Greece are. They have to be somewhere over here, like over here to the left. We're at 22... Iron, so let's upgrade this one to man at arms. And let's go down here to get another warrior. Cast a spell, form a war. We can attack this one. Attack right here. It's not enough to get rid of it. Hopefully, the swordsman comes down here. Let's go one to the right, one to the right, one to the right. And now we can attack it with a lot of units. Oh, there's, there's a city. The city fell. All right, the Kree's not happy with us. Maybe we'll go after Let's them next. They did bring their nice swordsman here. Attack there. Attack with this thing. Ooh, what do I want to do? This can take it out like no damage. So let's go like this. Yes, go there, there. Attack. Walls are done. There we go. There's our capital. We already... Oh, we're already getting loyalty. That's kind of amazing. Now, look at all their units. Holy smokes, they have a lot of units. No, um... We're declaring war on you now. Yes. You do some nice damage now. 
There we go. Oh, we couldn't get that one. Let's see what's over here. 100 fortification health. That's still good for us. Let's get rid of this unit. Yeah. Since this one's just at half health. Pretty good. <laughs> like, first turn against India. I mean, man of arms and corsairs, like, they have warriors and archers. Like, ah, uh, you're not gonna win. <laughs> With the advance of few and only 23. Look at this. Oh, man. We're gonna get Calcutta. No problem. Oh, there goes one of our archers. Uh, no, it's a square war. Let's just have some fun. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, here we are. Here's their army. Oh, they actually have man-at-arms. That could have been a mistake. They have Arus now. That is interesting. Well, that's their capital, so all we need to do is take over that. Oh, no. Classical era ends and 10 turns. We're about to fall to a normal or a dark age unless we get two Moriara score. Getting another capital would be ideal. There's a 53. That's not happening. Please don't die. Okay, good. All right. All right. Ooh. It's too close. It made it a lot more interesting that we might fall into a dark age. We have to switch these two and we can't attack. Oh, we can attack with this one. Three and two. Let's go ahead and peace out with you for a little bit so we don't have to worry about you coming at us. Oh. There we go. 61 at 61. Got a normal age. As long as no one goes to a golden age next era. Should be sitting pretty. Let's see what happens. Good. They attack the spearmen. Perfect. Perfect bait. All right. Let's see what they do. Oh, down to 38. Yes. Yes. AI. AI loves to be dumb. There's pikemen. And our catapults in range. Finally. We might be able to take it over, though. I think we can. Will they peace out with us? They will peace out with us. Let's go ahead and take it over then. We use this archer. There we go. And rebellion in like two turns. 5.6. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's move our new governor there. But I'm back. It is now the next day. And I've been kind of looking around trying to figure out what to do next. We already have India's capital. We need Alexander's capital. We also need the Roman capital, which is probably somewhere up here, and the capital of the Cree. So we really only have three capitals left to go. And I'm thinking, why are we going for education then if we can literally win the game in like 15, 20 turns? Let's switch over to gunpowder. We'll get knights, which will be pretty good. And then after that, we can go right for metal casting to get bombards. We're building a couple trebuchets down here. We're kind of building another army for the Cree Empire. And then what I'm thinking is I want to kind of look around here. I want to see... Okay. Here is Alexander's army. They have 118 military strength. This is probably it. They are at war with the Roman Empire next. So they're probably going up to the east. Let's do this. Let's be a little tricky. Let's get all their gold. Can we sell this? No, not really. But people will definitely buy tea. 79 and 3 gold per turn. Then let's buy a builder right here. We can improve the source of tea and cotton and sell that. And now let's go ahead and denounce Alexander. We are moving our units around here, around to the west. We're going to have a couple units here. And I'm going to keep this battering ram. I'm not going to upgrade it. I like to basically get rid of the walls as soon as possible. Additionally, if we look at the great people, we have 590 faith. Let's go ahead and buy this great general. We won't have a golden age, so loyalty I'm a little worried about. I think over here should be okay. Let's look at everything. Green, green, green. Yeah, look at this. And this too. Oh. 
Okay, let's move. Let's move Victor. Go minus two, minus eleven. Holy smokes for the city! I guess you only have three population. Three out of two housing. Okay, let's bring you here. This is a plain style. We can chop this forest down and finish the monument and granary. And then build a farm there, and it should be under this city. We'll just swap it to make sure. And then the housing should be okay. Cree declared war on us. Minus 50% production cost for military units? Excellent. Look at that. And then now we have two trebuchets done in the same turn. I mean, rebelling in three turns, we have to change up some of our policy cards. The loyalty, loyalty for garrison unit, additional housing for that city, and two more loyalty just for the governor. And we'll see, still keep feudal contracts so we can build some nice, you know, we should actually probably go with prescription. Yeah, well, let's save up some gold. We changed up our policies now, so we'll get mercenaries next. So we can use professional army. Probably around the same time we actually unlock musketmen. I think we're still going to lose this city. It is insane how much loyalty the pressure this thing is getting lost. They actually attacked our city. Well, military emergency passed against us. It's for the Essex capital. We're just sitting right here. I think we'll be okay. We don't need to worry about that. Minus 4.4. I guess it'll be only minus 0.4 next turn because Victor will be established over here. Now you're at minus 0.3. Excellent. You're still below 25, so you won't be growing or anything like that. Which kind of really sucks. <laughs> But the occupational grievances should decrease with time. We have all of our units in place. This one's going there. This one's going there. Trebuchet's going there. The trebuchet can go here. It'll be on a hill. Even though there's a hill in front of it, the city is still on a hill. So you kind of like, I don't know, shoot around. Or you can actually hit it with the trebuchet from this tile. Man, I love the battering ram. Getting rid of these walls is so much more beneficial than hardly getting rid of the walls, but actually doing damage to the city. Battering ram is by far my favorite thing. And just like that, the walls are gone. I think the city is definitely ours. I start moving the rest of our units up towards the Roman Empire. We haven't really denounced them yet. I think we definitely got the city. Oh, yeah, there we go. Loyalty though might be an issue. Because I know the Greek Empire is at a golden age. 5.8. That's definitely doable. Done. And that should help out pressure for nearby citizens with this city. And now we're at plus 2.1. Alright. How much damage this does. We'll have our battering rams around their next turn. We have like four men and arms coming up to this 36 garrison defense strength city. I don't think we need to move these guys anymore. We can just kind of chill. Down here. It's a pretty good story for us. Now it's turned 110. I think things are looking pretty good for us. Just unlock musket men. I don't honestly know if we need it. Might as well use this. Yeah, we'll definitely have this this city next we'll have this city next turn. Will, will we get this one too? I don't want to let me click on it. Sometimes this game kind of bugs out like that. Yeah, it looks like we got this city this turn. Let's get rid of this thing. And attack right there. There's the Cree capital. Attack there. Attack there. I don't know. We'll use this guy. But there we go. That's a game. Surrounded by warmongers. That was a lot of fun, actually. Though its face it was intense. Direction. Good medieval ancient era war. Class square war. Ranking 19th place. But we definitely killed all the units. But all right. Thanks for watching.